Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, day today. Can you believe it? It's already August 19th. We are halfway through August already. Uh, as the old people used to say, this time getting on out of here. <laughs> yeah, baby. I mean, it. we are barreling, barreling through 2021. Right? Um, it does seem like time is moving pretty fast. I think that's another reason why it's important to be uh, intentional. Right? and um authentic and uh um earnest about everything that you do like no more fly by night decisions uh or um haphazard intentions right be very intentional about buttoning up things, getting things done. Um, not like busy work, but when you go to do something, be very intentional about um, the completion of it, uh, how you walk away from it, how you leave it, um, relationships, conversations, uh, things like that. Because time is moving so fast. Things are moving so swiftly. Um, nowadays, it, we don't know if we'll be able to return to a task. We don't know um, if, you know, if we leave things too long, if, if we'll have to start over, you know what I mean? And definitely when it comes to relationships, we don't want to to walk away from something and leave it a mess, Right? Uh, open-ended conversations, um, things not cleared up, things not not having been made clear, that type of thing. <clears throat> want to be really careful with those types of things because you may not be able to come back to it. Uh, you may not be able to reapproach. You may not get another opportunity to make sure you've been clear about what it was that you were saying or what it was that you intended. So just something to think about, right? Just a little, little country girl wisdom there for you. All right, today we're going to be talking about the war. It's coming out of 1 Peter 5, verses 8 through 10. The morning version is the NIV version. And the evening version of 1 Peter 5, 8 through 10 is the NAS as in Sam, B as in boy version, NASB biblical version. Okay. <clears throat> um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right. 1 Peter chapter 5. Verses 8 through 10, NIV version reads, Be alert and sober and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. And the God of all grace will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Oof. Oof, I read that word, baby, like I had read it a million times, didn't I? <laughs> it's because I have. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Come on, let's read the text. The text says, there is a war going on right in front of you. A big, deep, all-in battle for you, for your heart. The war is raging and has been since you were born. 
There is one who desires goodness for you. There is one who loves you unconditionally and wants to see you become who he designed. There is one who has sacrificed for you, died for you, bled for you. There is one who gives freely. There is one who calls you his child, his beloved. Hmm. That was good. That that was good. I I really yeah. Oh, they give me butterflies in the in the pit of my stomach. Mm mm mm. Y'all know I'm gonna read it again. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> there is a war going on right now in front of you, honeybees. A deep, big, all-in battle for you and for your heart the war is raging and has been ever since you were born there is one who desires goodness for you there is one who loves you unconditionally and wants to see you become who he designed there is one who has sacrificed for you and died for you and bled for you. There is one who gives freely. There is one who calls you his child, his beloved. Whew, baby, if that don't light your fire, huh? your wood is more than wet. Okay, all right. Our prayer for this morning is, Jesus, give me the discernment and boldness to resist the devil when he seeks to tempt me. Help me to call on your name and to defeat darkness with your light. Hmm? Oof. Mm -hmm. The war. The war. Oh, yes. Come on, let's read the evening version of 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 through 10. The NASB version reads, Be of sober spirit. Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him. Firm in your faith, knowing that the experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, huh, who called you his eternal glory in Christ, will himself perfect, confirm, strengthen and establish you. <sighs> the text says, do not let other voices win. Ooh. <sighs> huh? I know that just blew through you because <laughs> it just blew through me. I know, I know, I know somebody out there. It just blew through you. Huh? Huh? Do not let other voices win. Do not give in. Do not give in. Instead, look up. Instead, look up up stop and sit in silence stop and sit in silence listen to the truth whispered in your heart listen to the truth whispered in your heart let it go deep 
Let it go deep. Let it settle. Let it settle. You are loved. Cherished. Beautiful. You are God's and he is yours. He hears you. He hears you. He loves you without fail. He loves you without fail. Without border. There is nothing you can do to separate yourself from his love. He is yours forever. You are loved. Let's turn over there. Let's flip over there. We, we, we never flip over to the evening. I try not to show all the people's work. I try not to. I try not to show all their paperwork. You know, that's their book. They done wrote their book and everything. They're devotional. I try not to show all of their paperwork. But, baby, we going over here today. Today, we. this is important. This is important. Okay? Hmm? You are loved, cherished, beautiful. You are God's. And he is yours. He hears you. He loves you without fail, without border. There is nothing you can do to separate yourself. Ooh, my, my. Ah, mm, mm, mm. Separate yourself from his love. He is yours forever. Tonight, Lord, I choose your goodness. This is our evening prayer. I see words of grace, peace, and love in my house and in my heart. Thank you for loving me. I know that you will never separate me from your love. I pray that I would also dedicate my heart to you so I can stand firm when I need it the most. The war. Question for ourselves today, just to ask ourselves today, huh, to meditate on today. Do you grasp the spiritual warfare that goes on in your life and recognize it for what it is? Continue to press into God and his word to create your armor. Continue to press into God and his word to create your armor, to fortify your armor. To build and fortify your armor. Let me tell you what I love about this devotional today. What I love about it is, yes, we are talking about war. Yes, the scripture talks about how he goes to and fro seeking whom he may destroy, right? Yes, yes, we, we've acknowledged this is what's happening. This is what's going on in, in our world, right? Right now, present day, huh? We can acknowledge that, can't we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But the text, huh? The meat of the thing, instead of instead of continuing to talk about uh, uh, the devil and his minions and all of his imps and all of the various ways that he seeks to destroy us. Right. Instead, the text speaks into who you are. It speaks to what you are. It speaks to how you're, you, why you are called to fight. Why there is a war for your very lives, your very souls, for your, your heart. Right? It speaks to that. 
okay? The war is raging and has been raging since you were born, right? We think it's about land. We think it's about oil. Right? We think it's about money. We think it's about energy. It's 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 about you. It's about who you are. It's about the fact that you are God's people. It's about the fact that he loves you without limits. It reminds us what God, how God feels about us. And because he desires goodness for us and because he loves us unconditionally and because he has designed us specifically. And because he sacrificed for us and died for us and bled for us and because he gives to us freely. Because we are called his children, his beloved. There's a war out for our very souls, our hearts, our minds, our mental stability. There is a war out. The, the minions, the imps have been sent into battle. For your mind, your heart, your spirit, for your legacy, your children's minds, your children's hearts, your children's spirit, your children's drive and ambition. Okay. Oh, oh, we can, we can talk about all the ways that the devil is moving around here on this earth, present day, August 19th, 2021. We can talk about that. Huh? Or, 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 we can talk about how important it is not to let the voices win. Hmm? Not to give in. To instead look up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. To stop and to sit in silence, not to get caught up in the chaos and the whirlwind of this thing. Okay? Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed. Oh, you feel overwhelmed. But take you a moment. Come on. We talked about that yesterday. Didn't we talk about that yesterday? Just say no. Just say no. Oh, yeah, we talked about that yesterday. That's no problem. That's no problem. We took a moment, didn't we? We took a moment. We took our moment. (laughs) And we're back. (laughs) Stop and sit in silence. Huh? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's breathing down your neck. He's he's scratching at your door. We know that. But listen to the truth whispered in your heart. (sighs) Oh. Let it go deep. Let it settle. That's what we talked about instead, didn't we? Huh? Oh, oh, we could, we could, we could let the devil continue to clout chase in our lives. Occupy all, all points of our mind and our heart and our spirit. But we need to let, let, let the fact that God loves us and cares about us. Let it go deep. Let it settle. What they say, let it marinate in your spirit. That's what Country Wayne say, let that marinate in your spirit. He say, you are loved, cherished, beautiful. You, you are God's and he is yours. He hears you, right? We, we're preparing for battle. We're preparing for war. We've got to remember these things. We've got to hold on to these things because the voices, the voices tell us. This all you've ever been, this all you'll ever be. 
You're, you're just like your daddy. You're just like your mama. Huh? Huh? You're too short. You're too fat. It's too wide. You can't get over it. You know, it's too high. <laughs> you can't go around it. This is what the voices tell you. You ain't got enough. You are not enough. Right? But we know that we are loved. We are cherished. We are beautiful. You are God's and he. Ah. Come on now. He is yours. He hears you. He loves you. Without fail. Without border. There is nothing. Hmm. No demon in hell, no imp from the pits of hell can separate you from the love of God. He is yours forever. This is war. And just as important as it is to recognize the enemy, it is, it is triply, doubly, quadruply important to recognize the God inside of you. God our Father who loves you. Who bled and died for you. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Huh? Don't worry about how ferocious the devil is. Focus. Nurture. The love of God inside of you. How much he loves you. How, how much you love him. Okay. And when you charge yourself off the battle. When you take off and run. You taking off. And you running. And you got on the whole armor of God. And baby when you land that first blow of love. When you land that first blow. Powered by God. He ain't getting back up. It's not getting back up. Right? This is how we gird ourselves. This is how we arm ourselves. This is how we protect ourselves. Right? Because remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right? But but against principalities. Right? So you're looking for him to knock on your door, right? And he's inside your head. He's whispering those, those, those things inside your head that's keeping you immobilized. The question for us today was, do you grasp the spiritual warfare that goes on in your life and recognize it for what it is? my prayer for you today that you begin to take inventory root him out 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 call him out in your own life in your own spirit okay a few chapters back we talked about uh, the darkness inside of us the little behaviors, right? Root him out. Root him out. Root him out. Call him out. Get rid of it. Pull it up at the root. Do your inventory. That's my prayer for you today is that you will have the courage to do your spiritual inventory. Okay? And begin to root some things out. Best way to destroy the enemy it, 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 or, or what, who, the person or best way to destroy a thing is to do it from the inside. I should say that the enemy a lot of times is inside already. The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Root it out in Jesus name. I pray. Okay. Amen. Amen. I love you, honeybees. I really, really do. I love you with the love of the Lord. And there's nothing you can do about that. Thank you to each and every person that encouraged me on yesterday. Lifted me up. 
lifted my spirit up. It, it, I mean, it did it. You guys did it. And I thank you for it. I thank you for covering me in prayer. I really, 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 really love you. Okay? Nothing you can do about it. Go out there and have a wonderful day today. Remember, remember, huh? Remember, the battle is for you. You are the prize. Okay? Amen. Amen. Till next time, honeybees. Mwah.